Jumping off the porch like mom's not home. Tell me why the best things feel so wrong. Summer nights. Alright guys, it has been a little bit of some time since my last video, but like I said, I'm really trying to take more time and just put a lot of more thought into these videos that I'm putting out this year, so don't be surprised if there's not three videos a week. Anyways, it's good to be back with another video. Uh, I gotta open this box up. Do this correctly. I should be able to... One. So I got sent this super sick beverage fridge from a company named New Air a couple days ago and so far it's been awesome and it's only one of the few updates I've made to my dorm in the past couple weeks. I'll be talking a little more about that later in the video but first I just wanted to give a little bit of a life update. Obviously I've only posted once this year so far so uh, I kind of miss sharing with you guys. It's, it's, it's something that I've, you know, I've been thinking about a lot recently. And obviously I'm sure you've been so interested in what I've been doing because, you know, my life is so interesting. Anyways, I'm about five weeks into my second semester of my sophomore year here at Yale. It's been good so far. I'm only taking four classes this semester compared to the five that I took last semester. So the workload's definitely a little bit less. I'm doing three computer science classes and then a military history class that's required for my Air Force ROTC program. But I have to say, this is probably one of the first semesters that I genuinely, like, enjoy and enjoy learning all of the content in all of my classes. Like every semester previously, like generally it's been pretty good, but every semester previously I've always had like one class that I'm just dreading. Whereas this semester, I, I'm a pretty big fan of all my classes, which is pretty cool. Like just in the past two weeks alone, I coded an AI for Pac-Man in my artificial intelligence class that I'll pop a video up or something right here. Um, just pretty cool stuff like that, that you just like, you know, it's nice to finally be progressing enough in the CS major that I get to take some of these cool electives. Even though it's only four classes, don't get me wrong, it's still a ton of work, especially since I was literally gone off campus for the entire past week, so now I'm playing catch up for this week, which is not fun at all. Uh, I'm surprised I even have time to film this video. Why were you gone, you ask? Well, uh, actually, this last week was my parents' 25th wedding anniversary. How cute. Oh, you know? You just, you, you gotta love it. And they've had this pretty cool family vacation planned for their 25th wedding anniversary for like the past three years, right? It's, it's ridiculous. Needless to say, I spent last week cruising around the Caribbean just like in the middle of my second semester of school. Was that a smart thing to do? Absolutely not, I'm so behind. But it, it was a good time, it was a good time. And it was good to kind of have some just like off the grid time with my family because you know I just really don't see them as much as I would like to anymore now that I'm at college. On the trip I got the chance to go scuba diving again and I did two dives off the coast of Grand Cayman in the Cayman Islands. I'll throw up a video or something here. Definitely go check out my Instagram for all the other pictures and stuff from those dives because that was absolutely incredible. Some of the best diving I've ever done. Also just by pure virtue of chance one of my favorite magicians of all time, Dave Williamson, happened to be the magician that was performing on the cruise. So that was wild. I actually got to go see two of his shows. He had like a family show the first night and then he had like an adult 18 and over show the second night, which I went to and he actually ended up picking me as a volunteer, which I think I have a video of. That whole scenario where your money is safe because everybody cares about it. I didn't factor Josh into that algorithm there. Where's the money? Number two, Josh, you know what to do. <laughs> yeah. Now what, Dave? Get off the stage, Josh! <laughs> That's where I spent my childhood in the Green County Library every day after school. See, at school, I was that kid who got the swirlies and the wedgies in the classroom. I was that awkward. You can probably relate to that, Josh. But here's the thing. <laughs> and that was crazy because he is, he is just such a phenomenal performer. And uh, getting picked as a volunteer gave me a great excuse to go like run from my seat and go catch him before he left the back door after the show. Talked to him for like 10 minutes, got a picture with him, signed my card that's hanging up there. 
you know, I fanboyed a little bit, but you know, it's fine. It's fine. He's a, he's a great dude. Now that I'm back, I'm obviously playing catch up as expected because I have two weeks worth of work to do in one week. Literally, I got back like late Saturday night and grinded all day Sunday and all day Monday for a AI piece set that was due that Monday night at midnight, which that was brutal. And now I just finished an algorithms piece set and now I've got two more to do before the weekend's up. But you know, we're, we're doing okay. It's still a good time. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta love the stress. You gotta embrace it. My extracurriculars have been keeping me pretty busy as well. I'm about to go run to a meeting and then the, the Magic Society has been prepping for our next big show which we'll be presenting to not only the Yale community, but also to all the pre-frosh that uh, choose to come during Bulldog Days. So, starting to figure out my routine now, and that should be a good time. I'm really hyped for that. Loved doing the Bulldog Day show last year, and I, I thought it went really well. I also thought I would take some time to rave about the newest additions to this dorm room, because I think it's been a little while since I've updated you guys. I know I haven't even done an official dorm tour yet. That will probably happen eventually. I just uh, have to find time to film it because I want to put a lot of time into it and make it good. But that I, I'll promise you guys that's definitely going to happen before the end of the semester. So be ready for that. Um, but anyways, one of the newest things that I've added is actually this really cool magic close-up mat that is huge. Like it's absolutely gigantic. It takes up my entire like my entire desk. Like all of this magic close-up mat. I'll actually probably set up the camera. Yeah, I'll set up the camera. Do some magic for you guys real quick, just to, just to test it out. Take your clothes and rip them off. Call these holes and zip them, them off. You can tell them you are mine, I'm sick of sick of games. No more time, you little little flame. Yes! I have also gotten a lot of questions about this little card collage above my desk. So I'm gonna explain that now, it's actually pretty cool. Basically, I do a lot of tricks that have to deal with spectators signing a card. Um, and sometimes I let them keep the card and sometimes I, I just end up with the card in my deck. So basically, what this is, is a little collage of all the cards, all the signed cards that I've actually performed with throughout like the past. I don't know, six months or so. Some of these are performance cards and some of them actually aren't. Like this one is signed by Luis Otero, one of my favorite magicians when I met him in Colombia. Uh, this one is actually signed by David Williamson, who I talked about later, who I met on the cruise. And all the other ones are ones that have been signed by spectators that uh, have actually been used in performance, which is pretty cool. Um, it kind of a little memento and I'll look up there every once in a while and realize, oh, like, I remember performing to them or I remember like, I remember when they, sign the wrong side of the card or something like that. It's just like a cool little kind of memento. And obviously I can't forget about the biggest new addition to this room, which I actually talked about earlier in the video. This is a new air beverage fridge, super sick. They sent it to me, big thanks to them. Uh, I will leave the actual model and a special link down in the description below. Um, but basically I have absolutely fallen in love with this fridge over the past couple days when I've been using it. Um, as you can see, it just looks absolutely incredible with the glass door and you can see all the drinks inside and I pretty much designated it my Red Bull fridge. Um, so it's, yeah, it's completely stocked with Red Bull. Um, shout out to Tanner Tavritsky, the Yale Red Bull rep for hooking that up. Red Bull is pretty much my go-to drink whenever I need to, you know, uh, stay up till 3 a.m. studying. So <laughs> definitely comes in clutch a lot and the new air beverage fridge is the best way to keep all my drinks also what's great about it is it has these removable shelves right here so I can change the positions of the shelves to whatever height I need. So I've kind of adjusted this to my liking, um, but it's completely fl flexible, completely however you want to adjust it, whether you want to hold big bottles or cans like this, it's completely flexible, which is great. Um, and also it's just like the perfect size for like a dorm room. So if you're, if you're going into college or if you're in college right now and you're looking for a great fridge for your dorm room, Highly recommend. All right, that's pretty much it for today's video. A little bit of an update on me and what I've been doing and also a couple quick updates to the dorm room. Dorm room tour coming soon, don't worry. Uh, but hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you are ready for some more videos. I've actually been working on some bigger projects. It should be coming in the next couple weeks. I've actually been thinking about doing a plan where I 
kind of put a lot of effort into a video and like post it every like Monday or something. So I have like one solid video a week. And if I want to throw any other like side videos that I don't necessarily spend as much time on, more like the older style videos throughout the week, I may do that. But uh, not super set on that schedule yet. But maybe I will keep it to like one every every Monday post a video. Um, not sure, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Uh, I'm definitely trying to prioritize my time and my class and stuff a lot more this semester, which is kind of hard. And balancing YouTube is always a struggle, as you guys know. So, um, yeah, so let me know your thoughts on the whole schedule thing. Would every Monday work? I don't know. Um, so with that, if you're new, if this is the first video you've seen, please press that subscribe button, you won't regret it. I have a lot of cool content on this channel other than just me talking to the camera like this video. And like, obviously, because you like this video and it helps me and supports the channel a lot more than you think. Comment down below, as I said, and uh, with that, I will see you guys in the next video.